What is going on, Rich Homies? Thank you for clicking on the video. Chocolate rice cakes are like crack. I was gonna try to do a cool transition from yesterday and make it seem like it was still the same day, but then I got my hair cut. I figured some of you guys might call me out. So, frozen fruit just by itself sucks. I like to make things with it, my protein ice cream, maybe some smoothies, but it just has no flavor. But this is gonna be the first time I ever made the, the poverty protein brownie with cookies and cream. Man, I'm telling you, I am obsessed with this thing. I feel like I said that every time I eat this. It's funny to me when I see people buying a bunch of things for the gym, like clothes, shoes, belts, all that, but they don't buy like the simple things. Bands. I would say that's the most essential thing for me, at least, especially with warming up. They're like five or six bucks. You can pick them up off Rogue or um, there's a few different sites that sell them, and then you can get a few different tensions, and you will be you'll be golden, my friends. And also, Zach Farlow. If you guys are OG subscribers, you know about this guy. He just put out a new CD. It's definitely good gym music. I don't know that it's uh, too educational, but you know. I think the last 12 months of my training can be described as just working around injuries, doing the things that I'm able to do. So my only reason for using the neutral grip is just to take some of that pressure off of my shoulder. I would prefer to do the wide grip, but until this thing heals up, we're gonna play it extremely safe. How crazy would it be if I was faking all these injuries just as an excuse as to why I don't look like I lift? because everybody on the internet was hurting my feelings. Guess you'll never know. These might be the most ridiculous glasses that I've ever seen in my life. And these are not like prescription glasses. They're not sunglasses. These are blue light glasses. And I'm sure you guys have heard all the marketers talk about this. Before you go to bed at night, you're not supposed to look at a computer screen or a phone. And I am terrible about that. I'll lay down in bed in like 20, 25 minutes. I'll check my Instagram, my Twitter. Hopefully you guys are following me and uh, we, can, we can all talk that way. But supposedly putting these glasses on and then looking at the screen is better. Blocks out the blue light and then you get a better night's rest. At least, that's what the marketers say. So, I'm guessing this is not gonna do much, but I figured I'd give it a try. But these were like 80 bucks, man, what the hell? You claims in the last cheat day video that I did, when this video releases, you guys are strangers, you're my rich homies. You so, I did not think this through very well. Sitting here trying to color correct this video, obviously, these aren't gonna be very beneficial if I'm trying to color correct when this is changing the color of everything that I'm seeing. And I really just can't get over the fact of how ridiculous I look in these things, but if they help, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I want you guys to take a guess of what song first popped in my head when I put these things on. And, okay, that's, that's too generic. There's millions of songs. So let's, I'll give you a few hints. My skin color, birds. <laughs> if anyone guesses this before I give you the answer, I, we are, um, what is that word that people keep using? I didn't know what it means. Spirit animal or something like that. In context, I think that means you're like the same person. I don't know if that's like from a movie. I'm probably gonna make myself look extremely stupid right now, but guess the song. Did you guess? I'm about to give you the answer. So comments down below and no, it is not Rich Homie Kwan, but it's close. Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And all the girly 
say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. It's really amazing that anybody actually talks to me, but if you guess that song, you're lying. So I saw these party cake mini bagels at the store, figured I'd give these guys a try. As usual, I will give you a very, very in-depth review here. My brain's just a little bit confused. It's like a sweet bagel. I don't know if I like it. But luckily, as you guys expect, the poverty brownie, and I really like it with the cookies and cream protein. It's pretty good. So, without trying to sound any more narcissistic than I do in every other video, you guys will not even believe how many times I get asked the question, how do you keep your teeth so white? And I do not do anything special. There's no crazy remedies. I, I don't even use whitening strips. I did do an at-home whitening kit one time, but besides that, nothing. I just floss my teeth and brush my teeth. But I do swear by the electric toothbrush. There's just something about like a regular manual toothbrush. It just does not do the job very well. And this video is actually sponsored by the company that sent this out. And um, before you start disliking the video, let me explain it. I, I don't want to doubt your guys' intelligence. You know what a toothbrush is. I just want to highlight a few of the things that differentiates this and the reasons that I recommend it. When I think about a toothbrush, it's kind of disgusting, right? We're in the bathroom and you got something that you're about to put in your mouth. It's gross. But do not worry, my friends, because the Aurora Clean System over here, let me just tell you about this thing. I've been doing some research. So all within this charging station, you have this, I call it like the germ-free zone. There's patented technology in here, patent pending. There's this little light in here that cleans out all the bacteria, 99% of it at least. And for someone like myself who's a germaphobe, that's a nice peace of mind. It even dries the head of the toothbrush so it gets that moisture out of there. It doesn't let bacteria build up nearly as much. It's got a timer on there. If you're like myself, sometimes I try to rush through it, especially when I'm tired. So get your two minutes in. And if you want to be really efficient, it's actually waterproof. So you can bring it in the shower. Something that I've been using and I've really been enjoying. I think you guys would too. And I will link it down below. You can use my discount code to save 50%. Guys, this might be painful. So it is tax time, and just because I'm an accountant does not mean I am a tax guru. I work in the corporate world. I am not sitting there filing tax returns. I am not a CPA, but I can at least you know build the foundation of what I need to uh, hand off to my CPA, which is, is something that I recommend to everyone. So some of this isn't gonna be too bad. External hard drive, 62 bucks. ND filter, 26.99. Ooh, camera lens, $825, and that was actually used. What do you think, is this lens worth $800? Another backup SD card, $70.07. My old camera, the Canon 70D, which again, I bought used, but $662. Okay, we cannot go through all of this. We will be here all day. I'll go through some of the bigger ones, but some of these travel expenses, Airbnb, $300. Flights, about $500 for this trip. My bigger external hard drive, $351. Hopefully my biggest expense of the year, this camera right here, $2,300. And the GoPro, $428.99 after tax. If you are feeling down, just eat oatmeal. But really, it isn't that bad. It isn't as bad as I expected. It's only $12,332. I thought I was gonna be a lot closer to 20, but I did not include the food. And obviously I spent a lot of money on food for this channel. I did a few of the challenges. And I think there's some gray area with like groceries and things I buy specifically to show you guys, but I don't really wanna, I don't wanna split hairs there on taxes. I'm like, yeah, you guys, you guys can have your money. So just about almost $13,000. I guess, uh, I guess you guys are worth it. Oh my gosh, I take the most cringe-worthy thumbnail pictures, but you gotta add the dramatic effect, right? That's what the internet is all about. And I was just looking up on Kelly's Blue Book how much my car is worth. It's about $4,000 if I trade it in. <laughs> so I spent about three times as much on camera gear as my car is worth. But one of the things that bothers me is when people tell you how to spend your money. I don't care if you drive a $120,000 car and you live in a $2,000 house. It doesn't matter to me. If that's what makes you happy, then do it. But, uh... I wouldn't trade anything. I mean, I would, if I could do it all over again, I'd probably spend a little bit more just because there's some more things I want. And I know if you're the accountant like myself, you're thinking, well, 
well, what's the revenue, right? What's the top line number? That's how you, this, this is half of the story. Well, I haven't got all my tax forms in yet, but um, I don't know that I'm, I'm going to make a profit this year. It, it's gonna be close. I'm like the world's worst businessman. But if you guys want me to do an update on that, I will. I'll make a separate video. Just let me know in the comments. So thank you guys for putting up with all my bad jokes, all my ads, all of my 30% link in description. Honestly, I didn't even plan that. That was good. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys allowing me to make these videos. I really do enjoy it. And that's how we're going to end it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything. Anything in the entire world. And you decided to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time.